Okay, friends. Hey, this is Chris with Josephine's Design. I am never going to get this up in time. Please forgive me. I will promise after today I should not have to go run errands in the afternoon. And this is, I'm try I had all this stuff scheduled ahead, so you know how that goes. Um, you can also use your, um, if you wanted to use any of your washi. I'm not going to use washi because I used some of these other bits today, but I've got my washi here and I can come back and just add it to my cut aparts that I already have in my stash. Now, I had this one last little um, bit cut out, this trim, and you know, if it were any other color, but that color, I don't know. I just don't think it shows up that well. You know what? I think I'm just going to do it. Why not? Why not? Because I printed out two of everything, and guess what? We're not going to be short because they're digis. Oh my goodness, guys. What a gift. What a gift this has been. I don't know what I have there on the back of that, but something sticky. <laughs> As I was cutting all the little pieces apart in the wee hours of the morning, I was, uh, it was like, where did that come from? How did I get that there? Where did I cut that from? It was kind of like, woo. All right, I think I'm done. So I can journal on the back, I can journal on this page, and I can journal here. And this white paper, you could get any paper. You could get, um... I will come back with a video next week. It's probably going to be next week's um, regular um, scroll because I've been asked to do uh, an academic planner. So I went to passionplanner.com. Let me say that again, passionplanner.com. I'll try to list them below. I downloaded a lot of their freebies, and they had dot grid pages. They had graph pages. I don't remember if they had line pages, but you can literally take those, print those out, cut and paste, whoever you want to do it, and you can create your own paper to go into your planner, so or your traveler's journal, or your junk journal. So I just wanted to share that. I'm not using tea dyed paper. I won't do that to you guys on this one, but I am going to start here. And um, But I'm going to use this for my journaling. I'm going to leave this open, and that's going to be my journaling. So yesterday, I forgot to date everything. I kept saying it's August 3rd. It's August 3rd. Today is August 4th. So I'm going to put down here um, 8, 4, 20. Now, I also have the stamp, and I will use that in my Bible. But for my journal, for those who don't have date stamps, we're just going to use our pen. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to put 8, because I didn't do it, 3, 20. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. So always date your journals. Always date your Bible your Bible journaling entries in your Bible. Always date your memory decks because it is going to be fantastic to go back and look at what God was doing in your life. I mean, God is amazing. We want to make sure that we, we um, record those memories. You know, um, I shared yesterday my friend, my Bible study leader, who is, uh, she has a ministry that we have prayed for and I prayed for that ministry before I ever even knew her. Can you believe that? Oh, I forgot that. I'm going to put that over here. I was praying for that ministry before I ever even met her and um, just happened in on her Bible study. Didn't know her name. Didn't know her name at all. It was a dear, but matter of fact, a friend of mine that, um, that we're talking about gardening with, um, she had asked me specifically, she had a friend who was, and she said, would you be part of the prayer team? I said, of course I will. And uh, my absolute pleasure. And um, it was more important to pray for the women of the prison. And uh, so I shared yesterday, I asked her how things were going with the ladies. And she said, Chris, I can't get in. And I said, oh, no. I, said, I knew you said you couldn't get in a while back. And she said, but I can, I can write emails. And I said, just like Paul. Paul wrote letters from prison. And she goes, <laughs> yes. And I thought about that later. And I thought, well, isn't that funny? That's the juxtaposition. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you know, because Paul was in prison. She is not. All that kind of good stuff. So anyways, um, yeah, that's how my mind thinks. But anyway, so <laughs> she and I giggled and laughed about that. And she was like, you are hilarious. You know, I said, I know, but it's that's what it is. She goes, I know, you're right. <laughs> so, all right, I am going to dovetail this. So you just cut to the middle, and I'm terrible at doing it this way. But we're going to see if I can maybe pretend. Oh, that is a miracle. I'm going to save the rest of that because I don't give up any of the pieces and scraps. And, um, yeah, but anyway, so record everything by email. If you're writing letters and encouraging people, you don't know how God is using that in other people's lives. I mean, just 
Just saying. Social media, wherever you are, you know, you do not know how God is using that in people's lives. So, um, just, just, just my two cents. Just my, just my two cents. <laughs> okay. <laughs> May not be worth much, <laughs> and it isn't, but anyways. All right, I'm putting this at the top, and this will be where I'll journal. So, this is the gift. The gift that God has given, given us in the relationship with Him and being able to serve. Yeah, and our God great. So, alright, that is it. I'm done. Now, again, I've got this set up. I'll be putting these together back to back. If, you're, if your computer will print back to back, go for it. Um, I didn't. And, of course, I printed extra, and that's what I told you. And um, I'm adding in some of the notebook pages. I'm probably going to add in, like, doilies, and I've got envelopes already over here and things like that that I'm just going to be working with. So if any of you are doing a TN and you want, and I've not connected any of it, I won't connect it till the end, um, I will be doing things that if you want to build a junk journal, this will be a very modified, small junk type, you know, introductory junk journal, but I... Throwing that in with my tea, and I thought, you know, I'm going to use this like a junk journal. So, all right. Um, so, let's go back over today's scripture real quick, and I will let you go. New American Standard, Exodus 15 2. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, Abba, my father's daddy, my daddy's daddy, my daddy's heavenly daddy. There you go. I say that over and over and over until we can grasp how beautiful the relationship is with God, our Heavenly Father. And I will extol Him. All right. And then our other scripture, Isaiah 40, 29. New American Standard Bible is where I've printed these from. He gives strength to the weary, and to him who lacks might, he increases power. To him that lacks might, he increases power. He gives strength to the weary. As I sit here, I literally... Um, I'm just a person that wakes up with aches and pains and muscles that are fatigued and muscles that hurt and bones that hurt and all that kind of, you know, crazy stuff every day. Um, you know, even just now opening my hand up, you know, I, I have pain. But you know what the thing is? We can't let that slow us down. God's got a plan and here's what he's telling us and here's what he promises. And we know that God causes all things to work together for good to those who love God to those who are called according to his purpose. Let us serve him well, my friends. Let us be about our Father's business, our Heavenly Father's business. Let us be a light for him in a world right now that's hurting. It's hurting. It's hurting, my sweet friends. So, okay, friends, I'm going to put my goodies away. I'm going to talk about tomorrow, what you need to have ready. And then I'm going to let you go. Um, okay, whoops, let me do this real quick before I forget. Next page that we will, I will be working on. So we did this page, and there's another blank one. Not going to worry about it. I'm going to work from this page tomorrow in my TN. You do not have to match me, but if you want to match me, this is what comes up next. Okay? So that's that. That's what I'm doing there. And then I'm also going to be using... Let me hold on. I've got to make sure I'm telling you the right ones. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to use Genesis 31, 6 right here. You know that I have served your father with all my strength. I know. Isn't that good? Think about that with today's. God's word is so great. Ah. Oh. Okay, and then I've got to make sure I've got the right. Okay, then I wanted to do this one as well. I thought they were in the correct order, but, you know, just double-checking myself. Okay. When it was told to Jacob, Behold, your son Joseph has come to you. Israel collected his strength. So who is Israel? We'll talk about that tomorrow. Collected his strength and sat up in bed. You know that I've served your father with all my strength. Okay. So Genesis 48-2, Genesis 31-6, and it is going to be good. All right, friends. Now, so there's the scripture we're going to use tomorrow. And then, what cutouts? Well, I want another girl. So I'm going to cut me out a girl. I am going to cut me out. I just like this gal. I like her look. I think, yeah, I'm going to go with this gal. I knew I was going to pick one. It was either going to be her or her. I think there's already too much green, so I'm going to bring in a different color. I'm going to go with her. And let me see. I 
thought I had something on here. Okay. I think we're going to use the word um, fear right there. So, I'm, and I really do have this planned out. I have the wrong notes in front of me. So, <laughs> that's why I'm taking a minute to be sure that I'm telling you the right thing. So, fear, this gal, these two verses, Genesis 48, 2, you can use any gal you want. Uh, but fear will be the focus, and um, Genesis 48, 2, and Genesis 31, 16. I am also going to use this gorgeousness. So um, there's not a lot of color on that page, so I'm going to bring in some color. So I am going to play with um, one. You can pick any one of these right here. That's what I'm going to use, any one of these. not going to tell you which one yet. I may use that right there, and then, hold on, hold on, and tomorrow, there was gift too, see? <laughs> so, I mean, because I printed it out too. Tomorrow, I'm going to use one, probably this little washi right there. I know. So, okay, so that one, one of these, maybe that one, and then, hold on, and I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's all I'm going to use out of our kit. Now, you guys can use any of the washi you want. You do not have to be stuck with this. You can use whatever you want, or you can use your own washi. It's no big deal. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side, and I've got my introductory, my introductory conversation already printed out. And let's finish up our camp business. And my flowers went flying a minute ago <laughs> when I was grabbing the, the, the ribbon, the tooling. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should use there. Ah, that might be what I'll do. Maybe I'll use Tulane. I think I'll save this. Anyways, um, so guys, bloom where you planted. God has us in different places. Be flexible. Be ready to serve him. When he calls you up, be ready because he's got great plans for your life. Even a broken out, down old gal like me, um, he's not done with my life yet. And, uh, as long as I can draw breath, I pray that even if I'm in a hospital bed and sick and I can still smile at someone and tell them about my Savior and the love I have for Him. And, you know, I've had so many crazy hospital experiences and I love church and hospitals. I love having the nurses come down and we have church. It's just, church is just, we're two or more gathered in my name and we are fellowshipping and we are talking about the things of God and we are talking scripture and that's all it is it really is it's a time that we honor and we praise God and we can do that in our conversation so all right friends be about your father's business he loves you so very very much and he has great plans for your life keep seeking him okay friends um, I will let you go long and chatty tomorrow I'll be quicker and I love you guys and um, most importantly, God loves you. He loves you forever and a day. Forever and a day. When I talk to my granddaughter, I tell her how much God loves her. And I say, and God loves you forever and a day. Jesus loves you. It's the first thing. This poor child, she knows every time she talks to her Mimi Chris, it's going to be, hi, honey, I love you. And God loves you. And Jesus loves you. It's every single time. <laughs> And I call her by her name, and I'm the only one who uses that country name. So I have special permission. And uh, my daughter said, she said, she always knows it's you because you call her that name, and then you always say, and I said, I know. And she's so cute because when I was, when I called back last night, so if you didn't hear her, she fell, she hit her head. It was in the first video I, I, I did today. She got on the phone, and I was talking, and I asked my son-in-law because my daughter had to be on a call for work late last night. And, um, and I said, um, am I on speaker? And he goes, no, no, hold on. Let me put you on speaker. She can talk to her. And I said, and I started talking to her and I said, oh, so she's busy. She doesn't hear me. And he goes, no, she's just standing there listening <laughs> and trying to get the phone. <laughs> and I said, oh, bless her little heart. She knows her Mimi Chris. That just makes her happy. And I told him, I said, poor thing. She's always going to know when it's me. And he I said, besides the twang, she's always going to know. Cause I always open with the same thing every time. And she's just precious. But anyways. Okay, I'll stop gushing. I know your grandchildren are even more beautiful. I know, I know, I know. You, They are. Isn't it a blessing? Isn't it a blessing to see the next generation come and God gives us? So, anyways. All right. Let's bloom where we're planted.
even though I can't hold her right now, I can talk to her on the phone, and she knows me. How amazing is that? She's not even a year old, and she knows me. God is good. Oh, man, all the time he's good. All right, friends, go out and make it a great day, a great evening, a great tomorrow. Serve him well. All right, and by the way, thanks for all the marshmallow um, comments. It was the best. I love how everybody likes to cook their marshmallows. I love that there are people who don't like marshmallows. And kudos to the dear sweet friend who wrote, instead of marshmallows, try peeps. Oh my goodness, go back and look at the comments. I posted it. It's hilarious. I love peeps. I love peeps. When I used to do Mary Kay, I used to give pink peeps out to my my team. And I would say, you're now one of our peeps. We love you, you know, kind of thing. And so um, I even have a video, I mean, a, a shirt that talks about that. And I gave my husband um, a shirt and it says something like, hanging with my peeps. And it has the yellow chicks on it because he raised all these, he raises all these little poultry. But anyway, so I love the peeps idea. I really, really do. They, they melt it and they put it on there some more. Ooh, that's called a sugar coma, baby. But anyways, every now and then you need one of those. <laughs> So, all right, guys, um, something fun for today. Go to the website, and I will throw something out, and that's the BibleJournalingCamps.com, and I will throw out day two update, and anybody who sends me their pictures, I put them up on the website and just email them to me at, at uh, josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com or BibleJournalingCamps at gmail.com, and I will cut and paste and upload it Tell me how you want to be described, your name, and all that good stuff. Um, no last names. You can do the first initial of your last name, but no last names, please, or your online handle, either way. And um, I just want to say that uh, I will put together something camp fun on there tonight. So I know it's kind of fun, isn't it? It's exciting. So, all right, guys. All right, friends. I love you. Have a great day. Keep serving them well. I'm going to let you go. Get this uploaded. All right, guys. God loves you. Bye-bye.